Hey guys, today we're making a procedural tune shader that can interact with light and it'll look pretty cool like this example that I'm showing you right now. Uh, I'm just going to open up a new file with the default male character from Mixamo from Adobe. So you can just download that character and any animations with it and you have a free character. Let me just do that real quick. Okay, so I have the default character. Here he is. I'm going to delete the light and the default cube was deleted. So now go into the shading workspace and delete the, the original colors of the character. It doesn't matter what the character is. Just delete those colors. Also, yeah, okay. Give these the same color for now. Now add a diffuse BSDF and then make a shader to RGB and plug that color into the surface. And now add a color ramp. And that's basically the whole thing. So if we make this black and we add an area lamp and bring it out and make this area lamp smaller and like 50 so it should be have harsh shadows and be bright make this constant and choose two colors that you want or more I'm gonna choose for the body part I'll do blue and a darker blue or I'll just do purple because that's like a cool like stylistic thing and then I'll make a darker purple for like the very dark bits like that and just mess around with it add some highlights if you want all those highlights way far in the front and then duplicate this material for the second one and change a different color I'll do green So we got it that, and if you get an empty in the middle, you plane axis, uh, bring it up to the Z that the Y that the light is at, and then parent the area lamp to the empty. And now, if you do, if you RR it, you can now control the lighting from a pivot point. What are these called? Trackball. You can trackball, point it. If you want, you can bring the light more out, like this. And I'm gonna bring the lightest part in a little more. Oh, and bonus material for if you want it to look more cartoony, you can go into the film and make it transparent and tick on freestyle and absolute. And then when you render it, it'll be It'll have an outline like this, so it'll show the muscle contours and all the edges. So yeah, back to the normal video. So now, if you want a cool animation, you can click auto keying and then play it and then rotate it like this. And you get a cool like shading animation. So that's how you make a tune shader. Hope you guys like it, and if you do, subscribe we'll do more procedurals like this and you can check out the procedurals in the playlist at the end of this video and we'll see you guys next time bye